Hi, my name is Shabir Mala and I am a business intelligence architect with Project Leadership Associates. And today I'll be talking about real-time and predictive vehicle health and driving pattern analysis. The solution which I'll be covering in this presentation is a complete end-to-end -end solution where the data is coming from a vehicle beacon a sensor device and that data is all the way coming from that vehicle to the big data platform from Microsoft and then goes into the Power BI visualization dashboarding and the end user can able to see that data in their system. So to start with, I'll, I'll start with a very basic context on why we are doing this particular demo right now and what is the significance of that. I was reading through a couple of uh, articles online and uh, I have got some stats out here on this particular slide which says the connected car market right now is almost 45% annual growth rate over the last five years. The second is it is almost 10, per 10 times growing faster than compared to any other normal cars. So you, you can see how much tremendous potential it has got. And the third and the predictive value part of it is that by 2020, you will see 75% of the cars being connected. So that means that we will have an enormous number of cars being connected and throwing out that sensor data information into the platform for the industries to understand and read what it is all about. Now, when I talk about connected cars, it has two approaches. The technology has got two main approaches. One approach which we talk about is where the sensors have the internet connection or the internet systems installed or configured inside the sensor. So the data is actually real time sending out those information to the solution. The second is where the data is sitting in the sensors and that data can be pulled into the information once a mechanic or once we take it to a maintenance uh, to a dealer or some, somebody when they plug in the diagnostic port and they pull the information out. Obviously the first part is much better because it is the real time information and you can see it, it helps the companies to collect that information much real time and at the same time send or read that information and send it out to the reports on a real time basis. Now when I talk about the predictive part, the 2020, 75% of the cars will be connected. It gives us a lot of opportunities to build out new solutions, new systems, and have got enormous use cases where we can plug in these solutions in. Like for example, on the screen I have, one of them is the vehicle diagnostics. Usage-based insurance companies can fine-tune their, their plans according to how a user is using the car and vehicle. The other is a fleet management, the roadside assistance calling, eco-driving, and the most important is the, the engine performance and the emissions. Microsoft has come up with a big data advanced platform, which now they term as Cortana Analytics Suite. And it has got a lot of different components which we can use in, in our solution. If you are using some other, some other use case, you can use pick and choose those type of components in your solution. What Microsoft has done is they have broadly distinguished or categorized these, these products into three main areas. One is the managing of information. That's the first part or the first stage when a data comes in from the sensors as a raw form, the, the information has to be managed. The second part is always the storage. So once it is managed, cleaned and all that stuff, it gets into the storage area. And the third part is the advanced analytics. That data, once it is clean, good, good to understand, is put into all those advanced algorithms and everything, machine learning, and then helps the companies to get insights, get rich information, and take better, better decisions. The last part is obviously the Power BI, which is the visualizations when end user can consume those reports and maybe like share with the team across or anybody else they want to. So that's, that's the whole picture of the, the Cortana Analytics Suite. In our solution, what we will do is we'll pick up some of those uh, some of those components. Like for example, in the screen, I'm sharing a couple of slide uh, screen captures of them. One is the event hub, the other is the stream analytics. Then we have the data factory and the SQL database. The event hub and the data factory are from the managing information, the first uh, category. 
the stream analytics and uh, the database are the third and the fourth, uh, the second and third one. I'll jump onto the, the solution diagram. So this solution which we are working on has got mainly two data sets. One, which is the data in motion. Now when we say data in motion, it means that when a car, a user or an end user is driving, a client is driving a car, that data is data in motion where the sensor starts sending out the data when the car is in motion. The second is the data at rest, which is the, the catalog information. So vehicles could have, uh, all the dealers, all the manufacturers could have those, the VIN numbers, the, the other statistical information, which is then batch processed into the system and it is stored in the, in the storage area. So if I walk through this particular slide out here, the flow of the, of the data, how it works, say for example in data in motion, the data comes in from the diagnostic events, the actual cars from the, from the sensors, streamed into the event hub, the Microsoft's big data platform, comes into the, analyt the stream analytics and then is pushed into the machine learning, the advanced analytics algorithms, and then eventually in the Power BI dashboards. The same goes for the data and rest. The catalog information comes all the way from the catalog, the, the raw data sets, and then put into the storage and eventually into the Power BI dashboarding. The next step is the, uh, the final consumer or the, how the output would look like. So for an end user, this is the, the report which they would want to see or the, the industry is the, the insurance uh, team or it could be the manufacturing or the dealers. They could look at this particular dashboard and understand or met, help them to take better decisions down the line. This Power BI dashboard again is mainly divided into two, two sections. The left side of the, of the dashboard is the real time, the data in motion, where you would see some vehicles in operation, how much they are, what is the average speed, what, how are the vehicles distributed by a city, and those type of information. And, the, the, and then the right side of that is the, the data in rest. So you have uh, the information about the fuel efficiency, the, the recalled vehicles and all that stuff. Again, they are divided by country, region, type of vehicles and everything. Okay, so I'm gonna jump on to the browser. I'll show you a live demo on how it looks like. I'll start with a fresh window. I'll open the Microsoft browser and we'll first look at the Cortana Analytics suite. And I'll jump on to the portal.azure.com. That's the website or that's the main page where we have to log into. I'll connect through my account and we sign in the application. And this is the, the dashboard we have for or this, uh, the Microsoft Azure cloud environment. And when I look at all my components, I will see I have the first one is the data factory, the storage, the database server, the database itself, and the storage one more. So we have all the components which are listed out here which takes us from a raw data set do some cleansing, and then pushing it out to the warehouse, which is ready for the Power BI reporting tool to use them into nice visualizations. Let's quickly start with a very basic uh, understanding on data factory. So when I click on that, it opens me the detail part or the detail screen of that. And when I go and look at the diagram, that's where it will show me the flow of the whole system. Now you look at this diagram, it just talks about how the data flows from a raw data set coming in from those sensors and it is put into a very basic raw table it's called of a staging table you can term it that way and then based on some of the rules the business logic functionality it is parsed into its own different tables so it is broken down into much smaller unit of database and eventually you will see these reports or these views which are open and these are the views which the, the Power BI report will connect to and, and start making reports on top of that. So example, for example, I'll just open this one and you can see, again, when I double click on any of the components out here, it pretty much shows you the detailed information on how that, that particular component was processed or if there was any failure or anything on that stuff. Very basic information. I go back to my main over here, I can just click on all resources, it comes back to the original screen and you can see this is my database which is the connected car database and it has got all the information for the Power BI to start using reports and everything.
So this was a very base, basic overview on, on the, the cloud environment or the Cortana analytics environment we have for this particular demo. Uh, I will jump out of this and we'll go into the Power BI site and we'll talk about the reports part of it. So I'll go come out, I'll close this browser, I'll start again and we will open powerbi.com. This is an, a cloud-based solution which Microsoft has an offer. They have, they have this new BI tool which they have created and you can just create your accounts on top of it and start using it. It has got both the version, a free version and a paid version. So you can sign in with anyone uh, suitable for your, for your work. So this is the Power BI site. I opened it with a dashboard. It has got, again, three main components. Uh, on the left-hand side, you can see dashboard reports and data sets. Uh, Power BI is, is very easy to work with. You can start making your own reports once you have a data set available within a few minutes. And this report, in fact, which the one which I created, took me like 10 minutes to create the whole dashboard. So if I look at the data set part of it, which is the, the raw or the basic thing which you need to have any of your dashboard reports, this is the data set which we have plugged in with that, that view which we talked about in Azure site. And you will see we have these four queries or these four views on top of that where people can make start making reports on. I have created a few reports out here and we will talk about that once I jump after from, from the dashboard. So there you can have multiple reports. It's more of like an Excel field. You can have multiple sheets and you can browse through the, each of them and look at the data, how they look like. And then I jump into the dashboard. Now this dashboard is similar to what we saw in the slide screen. Uh, and if you look at this one, the first part, the left part of that is the, the real time uh, data which comes in from the vehicles uh, in motion. And the second part, is the, uh, the data in rest. So uh, you can sort of, you'll see like, you know, once the data, when, when the system is, is running and when the data comes in from all those vehicles, this data keeps changing. So this, this can be refreshed, this is auto refreshed. So the data keeps on like, you know, on the real time, you can see the numbers getting changed. And if I click on any of this one, say for example, this vehicle by city, you will see it opens me a more detailed report and it gives me a lot of information about the vehicle in operation, what are the numbers, what is the count. Now this data which I have captured is, is of Seattle city. So it has got divided them into different regions inside Seattle and you will see uh, how the distribution of vehicles is. You can have a map, you can slice and dice those, those reports. Now again, we had captured the information based on models. So you can have a compact car or like in a sedan or an SUV type of a thing and you can see the distribution. Now this is a real time. The next one, if I go on this one, this is the aggressively driving vehicles, which is a data and rest. This is more of information collected from all the, all the, inform the all, not from the real time systems, I would say that way. And this is, again, same thing. You look at uh, the previous information and you can understand, the, 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 the dealers can understand or the manufacturer can understand how this data can be useful for them to make sure they can give best experience to their customers, which is the key for all the solution. You can also look at the recall vehicles out here. I'm just browsing through a couple of slides, just showing you a few capabilities of Power BI and how easy it is to, to create reports and everything. That's it, uh, we end this uh, this session out here. Hope you had enjoyed uh, understanding the whole concepts we had uh, tried to put over here. Uh, feel free to contact us. Uh, my name is Shabir Mala again. Uh, I'm a business intelligence architect with Project Leadership. And uh, you can reach me on my email address. It's smala at projectleadership.net. Thank you.